Hi guys, how are you doing? I recently started working on a new project called Dinner Club, which is about to be launched on 25th of June. It is actually a, a virtual dating platform. It's not really a platform, but it's a, it's a singles club um, where the idea is to connect um, interesting single professionals with each other on a blind date. So a lot of people go on dating apps. Uh, dating apps are supposed to be the new way in which uh, we meet uh, our partners compared to let's say 20 years ago or something. Um, but what these apps have done is introduced a lot of friction uh, by promising access to a lot more people. Uh, and when I say friction, what I mean is you have to swipe, you have to match with somebody, then you have to make a little small talk on the app, progress to WhatsApp, chat for a little bit, then have a phone call. Eventually, you have to meet the person. Now, a lot of times what happens is people fall off for different stages and not all of it is because, you know, you don't find each other interesting, but it just makes the whole process um, less easy. Um, and so the idea was, if I were to take away all of this friction and get you to directly meet to the person face to face, of course, virtually, uh, would you then be more likely to have an interesting conversation where you're not jaded um, and you might possibly be open to meeting somebody uh, completely off the blue, serendipitously, like you would bump into someone in a bar, except this would happen virtually. So this is just an experiment to see if this sort of experience works uh, in dating, um, whether it enables them to open up more uh, and be more human okay so anyway the why i want to do this video today is because of what someone said um so i met somebody who said that they've had really bad experiences with dating and uh, they're a little skeptical about joining this club although they would like to um and they said that their trust has been broken quite a few times and um uh, they don't really feel confident about putting themselves out there again, uh, going through that experience all over again. So I wanted to make this video to talk about this particular issue um, because this is something I know a lot of people experience because I've spoken about this with a lot of people in the past. I just want to say that sometimes when we fall, we get hurt. And those bruises remain and stay with us for longer than we'd like. But that doesn't mean we don't get up and start walking again. Um, it takes us a while to be able to get up and start walking again like we did before. But maybe some relationships or experiences cripple us for some time and don't allow us to be the way we used to be. And it's completely normal. It's completely normal to be cautious, to look where you're walking, to, to be cautious about who you're opening up to or, you know, just letting them into your life. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's, uh, it's not a problem. It does feel a bit unnatural because that's not who you used to be before this relationship. And, and then you start viewing this bad experience as, as having damaged you in some way. Uh, well, that's one way to look at it. I would say that... Um, every bad experience teaches you uh, to look out for yourself much more and that's a good thing because um, while you're guarded you can at least be sure that you're going to be less hurt next time around um, and it obviously sucks to be um, hurt in a relationship and and I would say that take all the time you need to grieve that pain to, to understand what came out of that experience for you and what you want to take away from that experience. But then remember that at some point you'll have to get up and be able to walk on because you cannot let that little experience or incident define the rest of your life. Um, I understand that it's easier said than done, but I would say um, real strength is in being able to get up and say that you can walk ahead and focus on, on healing from bad experiences and being able to find your full self in some sense 
including the damages or including the pain um, to be able to walk on and move ahead and, and find yourself somebody else who would be kinder to you than, than a person from your past. So I hope this helps um, at least a little bit for you to know that um, there are a lot of people out there who have experienced exactly what you've experienced. If not for yourself, get up to inspire 10 other people like you.